Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Liverpool Football Club coming off a disappointing 2-1 defeat against Chelsea at home in the League Cup. Had a lot of pressure and expectation. Heading into Stamford Bridge to play what was the more important game this week. That, of course, the EPL fixture. And while Liverpool outplayed Chelsea and perhaps deserved a win, a draw still feels like a win when you consider the circumstances. You know, Eden Hazard scored a great goal uh, in the first half to put Chelsea up. And that, you know, first half was pretty much a 50-50 uh, in terms of, you know, quality and attacking for both teams. But I thought the Reds really outplayed uh, Chelsea in the second half. And while Liverpool did not take their chances uh, as clinically or as efficiently as you could say uh, the host did. Daniel Sturridge with the ultimate wonder goal. 88th minute making something out of nothing. An audaciously ambitious long-range effort. Putting it where Kepa, the Chelsea keeper, had absolutely no chance to make the stop. The best goal of the season so far for Liverpool, hands down. The more you look at it, the more you're impressed and in awe by what uh, Sturge did out there. I mean, it was just a spectacular goal. Crucial to maintain, of course, Liverpool's unbeaten record in the Prem so far. Uh, the perfect record is now gone. And with that result, Liverpool moves to second in the table with Man City uh, on top on goal differential. So Liverpool still remain uh, on top of Chelsea by two points. Obviously a win would have been much better, but considering the circumstances, a draw feels just about as good as a draw can feel uh, for the Reds. Now, Jordan Henderson, unimpressive today, went missing, noticeably upset and frustrated when he was subbed and taken off the pitch. Look, you, you got to be honest with Henderson and with the situation. Gini Wijnaldum was absolutely fantastic today. Another great performance from him. James Milner, while not at his best, is still undroppable. But the only midfielder in Liverpool's squad who turned down Barcelona and Bayern Munich is Nabi Keita. Keita is hands down. Liverpool's best midfielder, and at least on talent, arguably the best player in the entire Liverpool squad. Certainly the potential to become world class. He had been given uh, a pretty steady stream of starts early in the season, and now he has been benched uh, or left, left on the bench quite a few times. That needs to stop. Jurgen Klopp simply must, must start Keita against Napoli in the Champions League in midway midweek and certainly must start Keita next Sunday against Manchester City. Virgil van Dijk, considering he was battling uh, a niggling uh, rib problem, impressive performance out of him. Joe Gomez did his job for the most part as well. Look, that is clearly, hands down, the first choice uh, center back partnership, without a doubt. It's not even up for debate at this point. But What's really important for Liverpool at this point is for both Mo Salah and Sadio Mane to recapture their top form. Salah was especially wasteful with his chances today. Did not get it done. You know, it's only a matter of time before he gets it together, rediscovers his form, and becomes unstoppable. But until then, Liverpool could be liable uh, to give up points that they should otherwise absolutely be picking up, as was the case today. Mane, also not at his best, you know, he needs to be playing certain passes a lot earlier and not be waiting so long once he has the ball at his feet. But the selfish narrative of Mane, it doesn't stick for me. He will figure it out. He'll get it together. And, you know, both he and Salah will get back on the same page. But Liverpool won. Chelsea won. A very exciting and fun to watch draw at Stamford Bridge. Certainly excited to see uh, the Reds back in action against Napoli this week and Manchester City back in the Prem on Sunday. Thank you so much for tuning in, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.